Mr. Edgeworth, thank you very much. I'm so happy that you believed in me in the very end. There's no need to thank me. As a prosecutor... Oh, wait. As a friend, I simply wanted to save you. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I bring good tidings. It seems that former Chairman DeBest has been safely detained in the detention center. However, the search for the murder weapon, the auction gavel, continues. Blaze DeBest is a shrewd man. There is a good chance that he already disposed of it. There is also one piece of testimony that concerns me. Dude probably was at the top of the stairs and like hurled it. Like it's 50 floors up, just throw that fucker. If it lands on another building's roof, epic. It could break too, who cares? Blaze to best mention that the only thing he did not have to fake were the letters. What do you mean? First, we found that he found this letter in Jill Crane's clothes. Then he also found this letter on Kay, who was unconscious in the storeroom. Yeah, uh, I can think of it as a legit thing. It's just getting her notebook back. The content of the letter seemed to suggest that the two had corresponded, uh, corresponding with each other. Which is why Blaze DeBest assumed that the two were working together. Ridiculous, that can't be right. After reading the two letters, he decided to pin the crime on Kay Faraday. In order to cast suspicion on her, he planted one of the letters in a noticeable spot. The deceased at Jill Crane's uh, left breast pocket. Isn't that just an excuse? Yes, that is what I thought as well. It may uh, have simply been a last ditch effort to save himself. However, before the stern eyes of the goddess of law, these are all trivial matters. I mean, to be fair, it really is. His crime shall certainly not go unpunished. With this, I finally fulfilled one of my long-standing missions. Judge Courtney. Will you tell me what you know? Why did Blaze the best murder Jill Crane? And what lies hidden beyond this case? Yes. I don't mind. You have the right to know everything. Long ago, Jill Crane was in love with a cameraman. What? That man was pursuing the black market auction as a journalist. This is already weird. And then before he could reach the truth, he was erased. The feelings and the items Miss Crane inherited from her belo beloved brought her to the auction. She had come to exact revenge on the conductor. Although in the end, she was the one who was murdered instead. I see. So that's what happened. While the goddess of the law cannot condone her actions, we have succeeded in our goal of bringing Blaze to Best crime to light. So Judge Courtney's goal was to expose Blaze to Best and reveal the dark secrets of the PIC. Um, by the way, what happened to the young prosecutor? We have been unable to contact him for some time now. Do you have any idea where he might be? I had not been truly working for him, so... I see. I feel very sorry for him. What you should be sorry for is the fact that he was kept in the dark until now. No matter how cruel reality is, he will not have to accept it. If he can't, he won't be able to walk his own path in life. Ever. Father's influence is not something that is easily erased. 
However, I'm sure he will be able to change. Uh, he will be able to change from here on out. Yes, that's right. Surely you must be right. Why to be able to walk on my own path in life? K, is your body all right? Yes, thanks to you. I'm so sorry. Even though you're my patient, you ended up getting suspected because of me. Ow. You can't just take care of the patient's body. You gotta take care of the heart too. That's my granny. Kay, how are your memories? Uh, gone. I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something. Well then, I shall take my leave here. Goodbye. I will be presiding over Pat Patricia Rowland's trial. That will be the trial for the murder of Horace Knightley. Who's in charge of the defense? Miss Crane was supposed to be your defense attorney. But now that she has passed away, we are currently arranging for a replacement defense attorney. Joe Crane had been in charge of Patricia Rowland's defense? All of these connections! I'll also get in contact with Sebastian quickly, since he's the prosecutor in charge. That sounds like a bad idea. Well then. Ah! Please wait! What about Mr. Edgeworth's prosecu uh, prosecutor's badge? What will happen to his prosecutor's badge? With the chairman's arrest, the PIC is no longer functional. So I cannot answer that question easily. Perhaps one could say only the goddess of law knows. But that's... Can you just give it back to me and say since it's not functional, we can't take it? You don't need to worry about me. This is the path I, that I've chosen. It seems you have no plans to change it either. Of course not. I choose uh, this path to seek the truth. With the departure of Blaze to Best, the law has once again returned to our hands. If you truly desire the, to continue the prosecutor's path, I'm willing to assist you reclaiming your badge. I appreciate the sentiment, but I must decline. I did not relinquish my badge with half-hearted feelings. I see. It seems that our paths of law will continue to run counter to each other. <laughs> Until our paths cross once again, I shall have you hold on to that badge. That was my intention from the start. However, on occasion, the goddess of law is quite generous. Please return this notebook to its proper owner. Okay, it's promised notebook. It seems this was scheduled to be put up for bidding at the black market auction. The name K is written on the notebook. It seems Blaze to best quickly realize this belonged to the girl. Since the letters he found also contained the same name. He spoke as if he really did not know about the letters. They were saying that Blaze really did not prepare the letters himself. Yes, the man said so himself. Gay Faraday's goal was to steal back the notebook. Jill Crane's goal was to get revenge. In order to achieve their goals, two birds and one stone, the two uh, teamed up to infiltrate the auction, or so he says. Unfortunately, this was all Blaze's misunderstanding. That's purely a coincidence. If the attorney from the PIC and... Uh, Kay really were acquaintance, acquaintances. It would be strange that she never mentioned it to me, considering her personality. She tells me everything. And I'm very upset about that. And a little jealous. <laughs> you really do trust her, don't you? Hmm. In the end, the notebook was used as another red herring, but... It's something that is very important to that girl, isn't it? I'll make a special exemption and return it. I'm sure that's what the goddess of law desires. But some, um, I appreciate it. I shall pray that she recovers her lost memories. Now have a good day. Um, is something wrong? No. Everything is right. Okay, I am returning something very important to you. This is... Yes. Memories! Always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know. Never cry in front of strangers. 
Look, Daddy, I wrote them all down. Yep, I'm sure to follow all of our promises and become a hero just like you, Daddy. That's right. There's one more. If I write, write down the most important promise. Promise number five. Always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. <laughs> I'm sure to remember. I'll never ever forget them. Always try your hardest to learn things you don't understand. That's right. Um, I am Jesus. I am. The great thief who steals the truth. K Faraday, yes! <laughs> yes! Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Okay, you remember? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, though. Thank you so much. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Even though I lost my memories, you are still always trying to save me, right? <laughs> Seems you're back to normal. Wow. Okay, you've gotten better. Your health comes first. Now you can relax. Just make sure you don't run off and lose all your memories again. Ha! <laughs> Miss Jensen, with Dr. Young, thanks for her worrying about me. Hey, if you're feeling all better, how about uh, changing back into your own clothes? I washed your clothes for you, Kay, so they're nice and clean. These clothes, wasn't Detective Gumshoe holding on to them? He said forensics was done with them, so he gave them back to me. Have they revealed the results of the analysis yet? Um, to be honest, I actually didn't think to ask about that. Now, now, more importantly, let's hurry up and get you changed, Kay. Hmm, still. Isn't it better if we do do not remove her bandages? <laughs> she should be fine now. Kay just bumped her head. She didn't really have any other major injuries. Then why was she so heavily bandaged? Better safe than sorry. A pound of prevention is worth an ounce of cure. That's my motto. What? Troublesome motto. Come on, Kay, let's go get you dressed up over there. No need to go anywhere. Now this is definitely uh, what a great thief should look like. A smile certainly suits you best. In the past, now as well. Miss Von Karma, thank you for coming to me, and coming too. I only came because Scruffy asked me to. That Scruffy also wanted to see your energetic self again. Gummy? What happened to Gummy? Who knows? Maybe he was dis uh, dis uh, disgusted with the man who willingly threw away his prosecutor's badge. Detective Gumshoe. I must be going soon. I'll be taking these ladies in for questioning. Huh. What's going to happen to those t the two of them? Uh, aiding and abetting. One aided in the murder of an attorney. The other forged an autopsy report 18 years ago. Those crimes definitely won't disappear. Of course, I will mention in court that they were being blackmailed by Best. I mean, as long as we can get their testimony, you could probably knock some years off the sentence. Plea down. We'll be just fine as long as Granny by my side uh, is by my side. We're invincible. Well then, take care. Come here, Kay. Lot of leave. Now then, Kay. Sorry to ask so soon right after you've regained your memories, but I have some questions. Sure, ask me anything you want. What were you doing on the day you lost your memories? On that day, I was asked to come to Gord Lake. What? I don't know who called me there, though. <laughs> what, what? As I was watching the moon at Gord Lake, a person in a red raincoat approached me. All of a sudden, he used some kind of drug to knock me out. What? What's she saying? The place where Kay saw the moon was at Gord Lake? This has nothing to do where we were. What the shit? When I woke up, it seems I somehow ended up on the roof of the Grand Tower. Mine wa mine was still in a day, so I stumbled around for a bit. That's why I found the person in the red raincoat collapsed. I was startled, and when I stepped back in panic, I fell from a high place and got knocked out cold again. And when I woke up, all my memories were gone person in the red raincoat. Who exactly was that person? Uh, nah. This chick did not knock her out. That's, uh, for a fact. So someone else in a red raincoat. God fucking damn it. 
Every time. And it wasn't Blaze. Oh yeah, I was certain that I saw them walking in midair. <laughs> Somehow, this is all starting to make my head hurt. Please calm down. You're just a little confused because you've only recently gotten your memories back. Most likely this is the main cause of you, your confused memories. You found hole. Your memories of two places. Your name on the notebook now. The Your memories of two different places, yeah. This is probably the main cause of your confused memories. Because you were at the lake, and then, like, next thing you know, you're literally in a completely different place. You saw the moon at both the Gord Lake Park and the Grand Tower rooftop. Which led you to confuse the two places. Huh? But aren't they totally different places? Even if I was in a daze, do you really think I'd get them confused? Most likely there was something at the Grand Tower which led to your confusion. Yeah, the tree. Take that. She said she next to the tree. The Grand Tower, Rooftrop, and the Gore Lake have two points in common. They both have a cherry tree and a food stall. Now that you mention it... Your memories were confused because you had been in a two similar locations. The person that you first saw could not have been walking in midair. They were simply walking on the ground at Gord Lake Park. You must have gotten that scene confused with the Grand Tower rooftop. So that's what happened. How dare they steal the memories of Great Thief! They'll pay for this! Only I can steal you. Nevertheless, I wonder who the person that assaulted Kay was. The person in the red raincoat, who appeared at Gord Lake. Fucking Amber Alert? What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the storeroom. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out. What's this? My shutterbug sense is tingling. I smell another scoop. Y you're still here. Goodbye. I mean, it's clearly someone that was working with Blaze, and that's why they dumped her up there. Mr. Edward, this walkie-talkie thing here is beeping. Hmm. This transceiver. Why do I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? It's still beeping, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm not particularly familiar with this sort of device. Come on, we have to answer it. Here goes. Hello, Edgeworth speaking. Okay, please don't just answer it on your own. I'm speaking with Miles, as, my, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, I presume. His voice. Shelly to kill her. I congratulate you on resolving this case, however. Can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? No. Are you aware of the mastermind who is pulling the strings behind this incident? No. You. What do you know about the incident? That's not important right now, wouldn't you agree? Right now, we're discussing the mastermind behind this case. I've had an inkling that such a person existed even before you said anything. After all, there is evidence to suggest that someone had used K to disrupt the investigation. Huh? There was? So who's this mastermind? I would like to hear your thoughts on, your, on the matter. Would you kindly show me the evidence that indicates the existence of a mastermind? Ah... Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Shit, what? No, no. Gaze of memories. This one, right? Take that. This indicates the existence of a mastermind in this case. Um, I can't say I really understand. I'm very sorry, but I do also do not understand. Do I really have to explain it? Obviously, it shows that there's someone else in here that we literally don't know about. Hmm. So this wasn't it? Wasn't there anything that was left unexplained among the evidence? I wait your answer, Mr. Edgeworth. You kind of show- Oh my god, I'm just gonna go through all of them. Hey, I didn't actually lose any health though, so technically I could actually just go through fucking all of them. Um... No... I don't fucking know. Jesus Christ, what am I? What wasn't used? <sighs> I don't know. This. 
this. Uh, I mean, technically, dude didn't know about it, but I don't know how that would be it. Oh, maybe she didn't send K one. Oh, yeah, K actually. Fuck. Oh God, why was K a gourd leg? I don't know. Fuck it. It was a letter that K allegedly sent to the victim. Oh, never mind. This is K's letter to the victim. Yeah. Kind of think of it. I don't remember writing that letter at all. Also, no, the letter to K makes sense. Yeah. But this other part. Wrong one. That one. It's like killing two birds with two Miss Crane. She doesn't. Who? Please get in for revenge for 12 years ago. What does fucking K know for 12 years ago? She's 18. Allegedly. Sure. 17, 18, same thing. Who could have prepared this letter? I too am quite curious to know. So you're not the one who wrote the letter? What could I possibly gain from doing such an act? Is it not necessary for you to stand in the court in order to make that truth clear? What can you possibly do now that your badge has been taken from you? I look forward to finding out from the shadows. This man, how does he know that? Do we have an understanding? Please ensure you do not betray my trust. Now then, if you'll excuse me. You said the case wasn't solved yet. What did he mean by that? Why would Mr. DeKiller even bother telling us that? Because it's fucking Shelly. Nothing makes sense anymore. This case has not reached its true conclusion yet. However, although I've lost my prosecutor's badge, who I still have, who I am still has not changed. While I don't know where this may lead me, I shall reveal the truth, I swear. Next one. Grand turnabout. Maybe I'll fucking know <laughs> who's doing this shit. Who knocked K out? Because I'm. So that's what I would have just said. I don't know who the fuck knocked K out. It clearly wasn't what's his face. Oh, hey, Sebastian. Dad still hates you? Oh, that was K. Oh, nope, never mind. What the shit? What's happening? Um, okay. Are we really gonna get a fucking T-Rex over here? Uh, sure. Oh, it's a movie, never mind. The shit. It's that thing they were filming for. So, what are y'all gonna do now? I reckon you're through being a prosecutor, right? Yes. That's true, I suppose. I'm no longer a prosecutor. However, you can't stop thinking about what Mr. DeKiller said, right? Indeed. I congratulate you on resolving the case, however. Can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? This case isn't over yet. The person in the red hood who kidnapped Kay at Gord Lake. And this letter from the unknown sender. Someone's schemes are at work behind this case. Must be tough having a case you just solved still nagging at the back of your mind. Well, I gotta investigate it on my own to do, uh, own to be doing, so I'll be off. That's amazing. You already decided on your next scoop? What are you saying there, Missy? Don't you be underestimating the likes of a lot of heart. 
I've covered a lot of scoops here, no? I always have an extra scoop or two up my sleeves. Somebody help! Guys, what's going on? Oh. Someone, please help! Hmm. This woman is. What's happened? Somebody's dead. A monster. A monster? It's a scoop! A scoop's calling me! Please follow me, it's this way. <laughs> Has something else happened? Again? I don't know. At any rate, we should follow her for now. April 6th. Temporary film lot. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a film. Who fucking cares? Unless there's actually a real body. Huh? These are... Genuine hoof prints. Hoof prints, impossible. No animal could be this large. Mr. Edgeworth, look! Oh, fuck. Mr. President! Agent Lang, why is he here? Mr. President! Someone's on the ground! It can't be. No. The President Zing Fa. Uh, Dijon Huang. Uh, uh. I'm mad. Agent Lang! Mr. Prosecutor, didn't take you long to get here. What happened? What happened? Huh? That's what I'd like to know. It seems that he's in a considerable amount of shock over the president's death. However, what exactly are these giant footprints? What could have happened to the president? It's a m monster! A monster. Yes, sir, read looky here. Ain't no doubt about it. These are clearly the footprints of a monster. On this day, mankind received a grim reminder we live in fear of the mighty Mozilla. Mighty Mozilla? This here's a scoop. I got myself a scoop. Man trampled to death by a monster. I reckon it'll be the top story in tomorrow's paper. What nonsense. These are no there are no such things as monsters. Wait, it can't be. I'm Duan Hoang. I have heard of your deeds. You saved my country from a great crisis. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a request from a key individual to take the president's life. Nah. That man, could he have... Hey, you! Were you the first to discover the body? Yes, I, um, uh, well, uh... Agent Lang. Lang Zee says, you're guilty. First come, first suspected. You, did you really just discover the body? Uh, of course. Please calm down, you're scaring her. He does seem to have lost his composure. Huh, <laughs> don't calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? Do you know who's been murdered? Dijong Wong, the president of Zingba. Yeah, he's a bitch, anyways. Agent Lang, this isn't like you. Hmm. When we first met, you had an army of subordinates under your command. And you boasted of having the highest arrest rate in Interpol. And now, did you forget the fundamentals of investigation, along with all your men? What did you say? Instead of questioning people at the random, you should investigate the crime scene first. Am I wrong? I don't need you to tell me that. I'll do a thorough investigation. Well, at least it seems he's calmed down for now. Mr. Edgeworth, let's investigate too. Yes, let's investigate. Right now, I do not have any investigation rights. But until the police arrive. What are y'all saying? Ain't it obvious who done it? The man behind it is all the almighty Mozilla. Well, I guess it ain't the man behind it. More like the monster behind it, you know? Good grief. Could you please just try to not to interfere with the investigation? Shut your trap. You're the one who better not be sticking your nose in my business. 
I ain't forgiving y'all if you mess up my scoop.